Hi, I'm Jenny with Garden Gate Magazine, and a few weeks ago we planted a few things, uh, in, seeds inside, and we did it under lights, and so now um, things are coming up, and it's time to do something with them <laughs> now that they're sprouting. So, so what do we do? Okay, let's start with my artichokes here. Um, now I planted each individual uh, cell here with artichoke seed, and so you can see some of them have a couple of them coming up. Now when you've done it, um, in, planted individually like this, what you'll want to do is either you can do one of two things, and I know it, it hurts to cut little things off, but um, you might take the least healthy of the two uh, and just snip them right off. That way the one remaining plant uh, in the cell has um, a little extra, um, uh, it, can, it can take all the um, growth and, and uh, all that root space and uh, it doesn't have any competition. So, or you can try um, fishing one out and sometimes this works and sometimes not so much, but um, you would take a pencil, kind of loosen everybody up and you'll come out with your little seedling. And then since I've got some empty cells here, I will just go ahead, I'll dibble that in and tuck that right back down and put it back in place. And I'll do that with that last one too. Um, that way each individual plant has a little bit um, to, to work with. And then we're going to put it back under lights. Um, what I've been doing here since they germinated, I took out uh, the germination mat, the heat mat. Uh, as soon as they sprout up, you don't really want to do uh, have them under, under on a heat mat anymore. Uh, but as soon as they start to get about the second set of leaves, that's when it's time to transplant. And in the meantime, I've been fertilizing with just a little um, very light fertilizer. I use, usually use Super Thrive or um, like a very weak um, fertilizer, like half strength or even quarter strength. And so once a week, I'll fertilize them. Every day, I'll check to make sure they've been uh, watered. Now, I've planted some pansies here in a, uh, a group flat, if you'll call it. Um, it's best to do uh, transplant them as soon as they get that second set of leaves, these have gotten a little bit further along, uh, more so than, than I usually like, but, but that's okay. And uh, so, but they've got a couple um, extra leaves, so they're nice, good, healthy plants. I missed a few as I got it a little too dry at some point. Uh, went over the weekend and I didn't check, it, um, check the water often enough, and so this little section got dry and I lost a few seedlings there. So, but, um, but I like to use a group flat when I'm using when I'm plant, planting really tiny seeds because you can just sort of sprinkle them all the way around. Okay, um, now I'm going to bump these up out of this group flat into some cell packs, and so you can use about anything for little pots. Um, I'm going to go with these peat pots today, um, or yogurt cups, or leftover. Um, uh, the cell packs that you get your annuals in uh, in the springtime, you can go ahead and, and do those, use those, they work great. Just make sure if you use a recycled pot, um, wash everything out really thoroughly because you don't want to leave any leftover, um, you know, plant diseases that might have come in with the plants you bought last year that might still be in that soil. So, so we're going to go ahead and transplant and um, I've got my uh, packs all done up here. Um, and you can go from, you've, I've started these in germination mix, but now I'm going to go with a, um, a regular potting soil. And um, I pre-moistened it just a little bit, so it's easier to work with. I don't always moisten it, but it's usually better if you do. So, so what you're going to do is, my handy dandy pencil, you can use a dibble if you like, but sometimes those are a little bit too big. So, um, but I like to use the little, uh, little pencil, and I just kind of stick in and get right under there and loosen that little seedling out. If it comes out with a clump of dirt, that's just super. I make a little um, little dibble with my pencil and I tuck it right in. And if it comes out a little loosey-goosey and loses some of that soil, that's okay too. Plants are more resilient than you think, so you really can um, you know, if you just if you if it's bare root basically, they'll still grow and you can tuck it in a little bit with your pencil. Um, I've watered these prior to transplanting uh, a couple hours ago because that way, oh, that one's going to come out with a lot of soil. <laughs> I might shake a little bit of that extra soil off and then we're going to make a bigger dibble there. Uh, but I've watered them ahead of time so that the plants are turgid. Um, wilty plants are tough to, um, to uh, transplant plus that's a little extra stress that that plant doesn't need. So. We're just going to fish them up like that. 
and tuck them all in. Okay, so we've got one all set up. They're, if they're a little wonky, <laughs> they'll straighten back up. Don't worry about that. Okay, so I've got all my pansies plotted up into their little peat pots. And I'm going to wa I watered them in nice and not, um, soft with a nice little sprinkle. Um, and I will put them back under the lights. So you want the lights about six inches um, above the top of the plants. That way they'll get the most light that they can. And we're going to keep uh, watering them. Check the water every day. Fertilize them once a week with that half strength fertilizer um, or very light, uh, lightly fertilized. And then when temperatures get about 55 consistently at night, 75 during the day, um, then we're going to want to um, move them outside. So um, you'll want to do that gradually, a little bit um, every day, and you put them in a protected spot because um, what we're doing is trying to acclimate the little plants to um, harsher outdoor temperatures with um, stronger sunlight and winds and, and cooler temperatures. So, and that's a process called hardening off. And uh, we've got, um, there'll be a link at the bottom of the screen that um, connects you to a good article we have on how to har harden off uh, plants that you've either over overwintered or if they're new um, seedlings on our website. And um, the other thing you can do is put um, these into a greenhouse or a cold frame, um, but start them under lights for a couple of days first and get them all um, kind of settled into their new pots and then put them back out in the greenhouse. And then you'll want to watch the temperatures just like you did with the, uh, for, to get them ready to harden off. And then um, the, pretty soon you'll be able to plant them right outside. Hi, I'm Kristen Bean Sullivan with Garden Gate Magazine. If you like this video, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you'll find tips, garden ideas, and how-to help. And be sure and click the bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new video.